Hey guys, it's Gameface here and welcome back to episode 112 of my Legion United career mode. Now in today's episode we've got three more matches to play, the first of which is against West Ham, followed by Chelsea and Club Brut in the Europa League group stage. Um, so another match in that and hopefully we can obviously try and uh, continue to be at the top of that table. So we've got the game against West Ham to begin with. Before we get into things, if we could go and ahead and hit 20 likes on this video, that'd be really appreciated. Also, if you haven't already, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well. That'd be absolutely fantastic. So this is the team going to be playing with uh, for the game against West Ham. We've got obviously got Keane, Yedlin, Capella, Gordon, Gomez, Bridcut, Samaris, Silva, Taylor, Mane, and Iannaccio starts up front. So it's quite a strong team. I actually hasn't played in a little bit, uh, decided to put him up front with Silva on the right, and that is the bench I've gone with. So another strong bench, Coleman on there just in case we need him out on the left-hand side, and let's see how we get him against West Ham. Let me know in the comments below what you think of uh, Leeds' two new signings that have made recently. Obviously, Brid came in a few days ago, and uh, the other day we also had, obviously, the new centre-back coming in as well. So let me know what you think about those in the comments below. I'll read and reply as usual. Um, obviously, Brid Cup. We know, we know what he's uh, going to bring to the club, just like he did last year. Very good player in midfield. And uh, the centre-back looks pretty decent as well from the clips that I've seen. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see how he uh, gets on in a proper match in the Championship. West Ham have gone for a 4-4-1-1 formation. Andy Carroll starts. They've got Fred in there as well, if you know him. He's very fast, uh, very good Brazilian player in midfield. So it's going to be an interesting game, this one. Going to be a tough match, I'd imagine, and uh, we'll have to wait and see uh, whether we've got the team to compete with them. I'd imagine we should do, really. We've got a very strong side out. It's just whether we turn up for this game. Aye, Nacho. On to Manny. He's going to shoot, and he scores 1-0, 16 minutes in. Manny with the goal, drifting uh, inside from the left-hand side, obviously, where he started. And a brilliant finish into the bottom left-hand corner. And we're winning the game 1-0, just 17 minutes in. And we're looking actually quite good going forward yet again. Uh, looking to be in a strong position at the moment. Still top of the league. And uh, obviously if we win this match, we'll continue to be there as well. Taylor through to Silva. Can he get there ahead of the defender? He has done Silva. Good save. Oh, okay. Another injury. Just out of the blue like that. We've had to stop the game. And uh, Mane is injured. The goal scorer. Not good news. That does mean, though... Cohen is going to get a go uh, on the pitch. I did mention it briefly before we started the game about Cohen coming on at some point. It's a bit earlier than I'd imagined, but, you know, we'll have to deal with it. Obviously, Cohen's a very good player, but it's a shame that we've lost Manny. He looked quite good, actually, uh, on that left-hand side. That's it for the first half. Still in the game 1-0. Looking quite good, actually. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we get another couple of goals in the second half. We need to just make sure that West Ham don't creep back into this game before we score, because obviously that will really uh, change the match completely. We won't make any more changes just yet. Obviously, there's already been one change that's been made. Coleman, who's not been on the ball too much yet. Uh, hopefully, we'll see some more of him in the second half. Iannaccio, it's going to be a long-range one. Oh, it's a good shot. I think it was going in the bottom corner, that one. Good save from the keeper. Oh, no. It's one all. 25 minutes left. They've equalised out of nowhere. They've not really done too much West Ham. They've looked a little bit better going forward, but... For me, not enough to warrant a goal. Um, very fluky. Very frustrating. One all. And they're back in this match at the moment. We're going to be dropping two points as far as I'm concerned here. Samaris is through. Needs to try and get a shot on target. Oh, actually scores. Wow, I expected that just to be saved by the keeper. Samaris on his left foot. Straight from kickoff. What a finish that is. In the back of the net. Brilliant hold-up play here from Iannaccio. Just to play it out wide to him. And he smashes it home on his weaker foot into the top right-hand corner, 2-1. Okay, a couple of changes now anyway. We are going to bring on Lucas and Antonio. That means we're taking off Bridcut and Iannaccio. Silva will go up front and we'll have Antonio on that right-hand side. I think he's scored four goals in his last two games, is it now, Antonio? Maybe five, I can't quite remember, um, in those last two matches. So he's been doing really well recently. Hopefully he continues that in this game. Keepers up. It's going to be their final chance, I'd imagine, here from this corner. Really strange decision to play out like that, but it's gone back in. Good save from Keane. Tight angle. He shoots, and I think it was going wide, but it was saved anyway, out for another corner. Need to clear this one away. Really do. Nobody's marking Adrian. Pfft, come on, let's have a shot. No. No way. No way. Two all. How... How has that happened? I mean, what else was I supposed to do? There was a crowd around me. 92nd minute, to all. We have dropped two points, wow. Probably one of the last kicks of the game, it is. Terrible, 
Terrible, terrible, terrible. I could have held onto the ball, could have waited until the doll cleared off, but tried to take it quickly. And uh, yeah, cost us two points. That's very frustrating. Luckily, though, I think the other teams around me have also dropped points. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. We are still top by one point, so very lucky there. Should really be ahead by three points now, but it's not the case. I'm going to have to move on to the next match against Chelsea. Uh, they're quite nearby, aren't they? Are they second or third? Did I just see a second ago? Could be wrong. We'll take a look in a second. Taylor's gone up on four attributes this week, which is incredible. Nearly 80 overall. That's great news for us. And uh, no other real changes in the other ones. But that means, yeah, if we do beat Chelsea, we could be four points ahead of them. Um, we probably should be six points ahead of them after that match, but sadly this is not uh, what has happened. And yeah, we'll move on to the Chelsea match once we've looked at emails and done some more player development. First of all, it's a quick little note here that uh, Mane is out for four weeks. That's not good news. Um, he's not been playing week in, week out for us recently, but he's certainly a very good player to have off the bench um, and to occasionally use in a rotated team. So it's a bit of a shame that he is missing out in, a, well, quite a few matches, obviously four weeks worth there. Uh, we will now be able to train some different players. We're going to, I think, just include Mane for this week. Hopefully get some more players going up and see how he gets on. Final training session before Chelsea. And we've got Grounds going up to 70 and Taylor going up to 80, so really good for us. Uh, Taylor might well be able to play. We've had quite a lot of time to rest players, so we'll quickly take a look at the team now and uh, decide who's uh, ready to play. And it's been that long that apparently Mane's returned from his injury. I'm not really too sure how that one's worked out. It's only been, I think, two weeks... A week and a half, something like that. It's not been that long. He's obviously not going to start, though. Um, as we saw a second ago, he's uh, definitely not fit enough to play. But we'll change on the team now and see what side I put out. Uh, this is the team that I've gone with. Keane in goal. We've got Nelson at right back. We've got Van Dijk, Zuma, Galloway, uh, Lucas Ramirez, Antonio, Dockel, Entep, and Aguero up front. Dockel gets another run in the team after performing quite well in game. That means Taylor does go on the bench. We've got Silver, Iannaccio, Coleman. Quite a good uh, selection of players there to choose from if we need them. Big match against Chelsea. It's a home game as well. We need the three points to try and extend our lead um, in front of them. There we go. Conf uh, confirmation that Antonio has, has actually scored five goals in his last three games. Obviously, it was five and two uh, from that last match. Um, not include that last match, but uh, he does start this game. Hopefully he can get himself a couple more goals. Uh, let's try and get him on the score sheet, but the main thing is we get the three points. That's what we're after in this match. Dockles through here. It's a good pass from Ramirez. Dockle just lacking a little bit of pace to try and get ahead of the defenders. Have to hold it up for Antonio on his left foot. It's straight to the keeper. Oh my days. First shot, first goal. Diego Costa, just a, a ball through, really. It's kind of a cross. Couldn't get in front of my man enough, clearly. Zuma just didn't really do anything. Don't know what Zuma's doing in there. And uh, somehow got it in at his front post. Of course, just before half-time, Chelsea really haven't done anything on the attack in this first half. And, of course, they've been rewarded with a goal. So, very frustrating, but, um, yeah, we just have to deal with it and uh, hopefully try and get a goal back quite quickly. That's it for the first half. Still losing the game 1-0. Not too sure how I am, um, but that is the case at the moment. They've had two shots, two on target and one goal. Um, we've had five shots, five on target. I think we definitely deserve to uh, nick a goal. If not, it'd be a draw at the moment. We won't make any changes just yet. I think we'll leave it for about 10-15 minutes. Absolutely no one marking him. You could see it a mile off. Nobody marking him. I have no control over who's marking who in the middle. Not when I'm trying to win back the ball from the guy who has the ball. And you could see it as soon as the ball went in. Nobody was stood with Costa at all. He's the only player in the box that was actually going to do anything to influence the game. And what I don't know what the centre-backs are doing here. Zuma, Van Dijk, nowhere to be seen. Galloway can't get there. Of course Ramirez is not going to beat him to a header. And it's really pathetic defending. And we're losing the game 2-0. Let's make some changes because, um, yeah, I don't know how this has happened. Okay, all three changes. Silva, Coleman and Taylor come on. That means we're taking off Dockle, Antonio and Entep. Aguero's just going to play in behind Silva. Taylor's on the right-hand side just because he is. That's about the only reason I could think of. And I, d I wanted to keep Aguero on. I was initially going to take him off, but I thought I've got to really have his sort of quality on the pitch. So I've gone with uh, him just in behind Silva. Bearing in mind also a loss here would mean they go above us by two points. Can't really afford a loss. A draw I could probably just about take. But a loss is not good for us. Uh, they just need to try and get a goal from somewhere. We need a little bit of luck. Taylor. Through to Ramirez on his left foot. That's it. 2-1. We're back in the game. Got the goal we needed. It is Ramirez against his former club. 
seems to be liking to uh, get forward a lot, Ramirez, recently. Got a couple of goals in the last few episodes. That's a great run from midfield. Finds the gap in the midfield as well, in the defence, I should say. And a fantastic left-footed finish. 2-1, we're back in this match. Silva on to Coleman. He's trying to cut inside. Maybe look for the pass out wide here to Silva. Can it be 2-1? What are you doing? Oh, he just about scores. I don't know what the delay was. Just stood there. I thought he was going to lose the ball, but he hasn't. He scored a goal. What have happened here? It's such a, a change uh, from obviously losing 2-0 to now drawing 2 all. 20 minutes left. We can even find a winner here. What a comeback this has been. And uh, it's just been from those changes. It's worked really well for us, giving us a little bit of extra energy. And uh, look at this. Just wait. I thought it was going to be intercepted, but it hasn't. It's 2 all. Ramirez out to Taylor on the right-hand side. Surely got more pace than a very tidy and Hazard. Cuts back inside Taylor. Come on, thread this one through. Coleman. Oh, deflexing. <sighs> Huge slice of luck, but the substitute gets the goal. 3-2, 10 minutes left. We've completed the comeback. We've now got 10 minutes to hold on. And uh, maybe Chelsea will throw a lot of players forward and give us a chance to maybe even get a fourth here. Whew, I was tempted about shooting there, but I laid it back and it just about goes in. Deflects off Boatang. I think it'll be Komen that takes the goal with it. I think going on target there. No stopping that uh, from Courtois. I was never going to get there with that huge deflection. There we go. We've got the win. Got the three points. Beating Chelsea from 2-0 down to 3-2 up. And a fantastic second half performance there. We got the three points. I said I'd take a point, to be honest, um, when we were 2-0 down. But the fact that we got three is brilliant. We're now four points ahead of Chelsea. What a turnaround that was. Definitely deserved, though. I thought we were very unlucky to be two goals down, uh, thanks to Diego Costa and some poor defending from our two centre-backs. Uh, but we managed to get ourselves back in the lead and uh, held on there as well. Didn't even have to hang on that much. It was quite comfortable uh, the last ten minutes or so. So we'll happily take that. Now onto the final game of the episode against Club Bro. We've obviously got some more player development and emails to have a look at. Um, we're actually not top of the league in Europe. I thought we were, but uh, we're not. So that's obviously in the Tottenham uh, career that I'm doing. We're two points behind top at the moment. So if we get a win here, we could go above them, uh, depending on their results. I'll quickly take a look at these scat reports. If there's any decent, I'll show you them. Yeah, there is someone very good, actually. 22 years old, 78 overall from Barcelona. French goalkeeper. He looks really good. Six foot tall. Looks quite good. We'll scout him. Well, we've obviously got the scout report back. I mean, I'll put him on my short list, see what it's like. We'll quickly do um, some of those drills before we get into, obviously, the game against Club Brewer. Okay, so the training drills have gone very well this week. Gordon's got up to 76, and we've got Ashby, one of our youngsters. I think he's in the Youth Academy. Uh, he's gone up to 58 overall, which is great for us as well. Let's move on to the game against Club Brewer. Manny is saying that he's ready to play. He's okay to play if I want to use him. Um, not too sure that we will start. We'll decide on the team now, though. Okay, this is the team that I've gone with. Manny does start. We've got Keane in goal, Yedlin at right back, Capella, Zuma, Gomez. In front of them, Lucas and Eric Dyer, who gets a start. He's not played in a little while. Entep on the right, Phillips down the middle, Manny on the left with Silva up front. No Aguero on the bench. He's been left out altogether. Uh, quite a tired Aguero, so we're going to give him a rest completely from the squad. Uh, so that's the bench we've gone with. Obviously quite a good few options there if we need them. Let's go on with the game. Should really be beating them, but we'll wait and see how we get on. It could be another tough match. Here we go. Come on, let's get a convincing win. That'll really help, obviously, the goal difference. And it will obviously help our chances of potentially going top of uh, the table here. We need to wait and see. Hope that the other team loses points against bottom of the league. Uh, but we just need to focus on trying to get the three points ourselves here. Mane, on to Phillips. Come on, Silva, get in the middle. He has done. Oh, he's beaten him to it, but it's off the post. Oh, my days. So close. It should be 1-0 now. It's a really good chance for us. We looked much better in the last 10 minutes, but still not good enough to get a goal. Looks like we're going to be going to halftime 0-0. And we have done it. It is still 0-0. We won't make any changes. We'll just go into the second half of the same team and uh, hopefully nick a goal early on. Phillips through to Mane. Does he have a good shot on his left foot? Here he does. Oh, it's gone in. That's similar to Samaris in the previous game. He's scored 1-0. Fantastic finish. Only three minutes into the second half. Mane scores. And he has been a good form on that left-hand side recently. Not usually great on his left foot, but it's a, a fantastic finish here. This time round into the top right-hand corner. Brilliant finish. And it's 1-0. 
Okay, all three changes now. There's about 20 minutes left in this match. We've got Taylor, Antonio and Ramirez all coming on. That means Eric Dyer, Phillips and Entep all come off. Uh, decided to keep Manny in there just because I think he's doing really well. He might well be our route to a second goal. Uh, I was tempted to take him off though and give him a rest, but I've decided against that. They've got themselves a corner here. Just need to try and defend it if we can. Uh, they've made a change themselves. I'll be honest, never heard of the guy that they've brought on. What the hell's Capella doing? Flying all over the place. Nowhere near the ball. Got himself another corner from the other side this time round. Let's just try and clear this one like a normal team would. There we go, Keane. Now can we break without throwing the ball straight to them? We have done. Oh, Taylor on the counter-attack straight from their corner. 75th minute now. Can he put a ball in for Silva? Gets blocked. Oh, off the bar. Gets blocked onto the bar. We're definitely being helped out by the opposition a lot in the last couple of games. Antonio... Onto Lucas, takes a huge deflection again, but the keeper saves it more comfortably this time. That's it, we've won the game 1-0, three points in the bag. Not as comfortable as it should have been, uh, the scoreline not great, but it's the three points that count. Maybe we've managed to cause a, a bit of an upset in the table rankings. Depends obviously how the other team got on in their match. Let's see if we can try and find them on the leaderboard. Sometimes I can't quite see them because there's so many different scores. I'm not too sure I'll be able to see them here, so I'll have to wait until the leaderboard comes up. And here it is. We are still in the same position, still second. I believe we've got a game against first place, though, um, at some point. I'm pretty sure it's the last match we have. I could be wrong, uh, but still two points behind them. And, uh, yeah, we need to try and close that gap if we can, just so we can go in front of them. Better goal difference, though, which is positive. And we are currently first in the league, four points ahead of second place. So we're not quite running away with it, I wouldn't say, but we're certainly creating a gap between us and uh, second place. I'll quickly check what our next game is in the Europa League. And it is against first place. That'll be a big match. Maybe not quite next episode. Might be the episode after that. Uh, we won't bother with the player drills just before the Swansea game. That'll also be a next episode as well. I don't know if we've got scouts or not at the moment. Uh, I'll be a little bit worried if we don't. And we don't have scouts anyway. That's not good. Uh, we're going to send them out. I'll be back once I've done that. Okay, so I've done it now. We've sent um, the Finland scout to England. He's looking for technically gifted players. We've got a Scottish scout going to Scotland. Uh, he's looking for just any players. And then we've got the English scout going to Italy, because obviously leads to plenty of Italian players. Uh, he's also looking for technically gifted players as well. So we'll see how those, uh, those uh, scouts go. They'll obviously come um, every, every month on the 2nd, which we'll have to remember and look out for. We're now into December as well, which is good. Getting closer to the January transfer window, so you can start leaving your suggestions for players I should sign and sell. Don't have loads of money, so obviously we're going to have to sell to sign, I'd imagine, unless I can get some from the board. That is it for this episode, though. Thank you all for watching. If we could go ahead and hit 20 likes on this video, that'd be really appreciated. Also, if you haven't already, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well. That'd be absolutely fantastic. And I will see you next time for another video. Thank you all for watching, and goodbye.